I'm Imogen from Waffle TV and I'm here with Todd on Bra. Bra? Can we do that again? <laughs> Hi, I'm Imogen from Waffle TV and I'm here with Chod on Brat. Yay! <laughs> They're here at the Fringe this year with their show Well Done You. That's right, well done Do you. Do you want to tell us a bit about your show? Uh, it's character sketch comedy. Uh, and with it's a bit of impro. With a bit of impro and it's a bit <laughs> weird. Uh, that's, and silly. That's yeah, silly and silly absurd and are the words that people seem to be using to describe What's the silliest sketch you've done then? Uh, well, the silliest is the wiggies. Wig, yeah. They're wig gardeners. What's that? They just garden wigs. Garden. They grow yeah, wigs. Yeah, they grow wigs. In their garden. Where They're sort of like a farmer. We got that from walking past a tree that looked like it was a wig, a wig tree. <laughs> <laughs> so you just be walking about and suddenly you'll go, okay, that's great. That's a great yeah. yeah, it's yeah. That's where you get most of it. That or uh, we put on wigs and see who comes out. So it's like we just sit and talk to each other and, and really? whoever comes Maybe it makes us wig. laugh, we hope it makes someone else yeah. laugh. Yeah. Have you guys been doing comedy together? Uh, well we've done five years, five years. yeah, we do, we, we do Showstopper. This is the first year we've got a show to Edinburgh yeah. together. Um, but we met doing Showstopper, which is an improvised musical. Uh, and uh, we, the first year we, I used to stay in Lucy's flat when her husband was and uh, we shared pants. He knows about it. He knows about it, it's all okay. And, uh, and we sort of made each other laugh a lot and we decided that we'd do funny things. And then we were going to come up three years ago, but then Lucy... We wrote a whole other show. We wrote show. a whole other show, but Lucy had a baby. Uh, selfishly, right in the middle of August. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows you don't get married or have babies in no, August. He was two on Monday. Yeah. Uh, so we had to wait until he was two, until we could come and do it. That's why we're here this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How's it going so far? Oh, isn't it? We're having a great time. The show is really growing and the audiences are really growing. getting yeah, growing <laughs> and, and getting it. And we, we're on the free festival, so that's a different sort of experience. Um, but yeah, we're enjoying the creative process and uh, the vibes. And um, I'm a little bit tired now because it's week three, if we're really honest. But, uh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. There. It's a marathon, not a sprint. But do you read any of your reviews or anything? No, I don't. No. Uh, Lucy's read I them. read them. I read one by mistake, but I don't um, I don't like reading them because I think we're doing what we're doing and you need reviews, yeah. but I, I don't need to read them because... We can't really change a show. Well, no, and, and the worry no, is, and is you that shouldn't. you can change your show. And you shouldn't, because it's one, one person's opinion or, you know, if, if yeah. some people just don't get us and that's fine too. Some people get us and love us. And it's people's humour, isn't it? Exactly. exactly. So it's all about sense of humour. So I think sometimes <laughs> sometimes you can be swayed by a review. So I'd rather... Uh, someone I know, uh, a guy called Tom Allen, he reads his reviews in March with a glass of wine. <laughs> March. That's a long yeah, way. March, yeah. uh, I think yeah, uh, yeah, the only reason yeah. to read them now would be if you can entice pe more people in by flashing your stars, which we've done a, a bit of. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, mean, I know what the stars useful. are, and I know what the little quotes are, but I haven't read them on you. Yeah, I didn't. Surprise! Uh, everyone <laughs> hates you. <laughs> Someone else said that to me. Oh uh, no! Maybe they read it too. <laughs> <laughs> How's the show going so far then? Is it, are the audience enjoying it? They seem to be. It, we've had, I mean, it's weird because on the free festival, you've, it's very different from the, the other festival in that, that there's some things that are slightly less organised, uh, so we don't have anyone on the door. So people kind of wandering in and out. A lot of broken glass. A lot of broken glass. People kind of wandering in and out. And then the other day, we had to do the second half of our show to a, a, a rock soundtrack because they hadn't unplugged the speakers from the main bar. So we had, so halfway through, suddenly living on a prayer yeah. started blasting out. It, and we went, oh, it went really well, actually. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering whether we should keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's never how you sort of expect it, the audiences. You know, some days, the last Sunday we had everyone really enjoyed it but just sort of was a bit too tired to kind of They're tell their friends. Yeah. And, and then this Sunday they loved it and, and told us. So yeah. it's just, you never know. Saturdays can be a bit drunken. Yeah, because oh, yeah. we're in uh, the Three Sisters, we're Three Sisters this year and uh, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a pub. Yeah. It's quite a pub. Shouldn't that help? More laughs? Yeah, or more aggression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, we've we had a lovely audience actually. Yeah. We cherry pick who we find. We do now. <laughs> Have you ever had anything go terrible? Oh, well, apart from the rock blasting yeah, not out. Really, that's no. Much it. I, I, um, I got a bit of a Groundhog Day experience the other day oh, when yeah. I just, you know, and you sort of like. Just, I don't know if I've said already. this already, and I started giggling. Um, I got caught. You really, really giggled a lot, and I really messed up the last. 
see. But, but it, it makes me, yeah. Myself. People seem to like that different. too. So. You made it different. <laughs> Well, you just changed it up so it yeah, well, we just, a different yeah. thing. Yeah, well, I think we, when we make mistakes like that, we kind of embrace them because of our improvising oh, yeah, backgrounds. Yeah, you can laugh yeah. make it fun. Yeah, yeah. We're, not, uh, we're not worried about it. Oh well. Oh well, <laughs> carry on. Well, Athie, what's the best thing anyone said about your show? Um, I don't know because I haven't read it. Oh, well, someone said they... they Cried laughing. Yeah. Oh, this is the best thing anyone's did. ever said. There was a lady in, oh, really? in the other day. This is the compliment. Oh, no, no, no the no. compliment. No, that's something else. <laughs> that, that was a woman said, Please take this as a compliment. And as soon as someone says, Please take this as a compliment, you go, <laughs> yeah, No, no. That's yeah. not that. And when she said what she said, I went, Thank you. I'll take it how you meant it, but it's not a compliment. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, there was a lady the other day sitting next to friends of ours, and um, she sort of got up and, and walked away, and they were like, Ooh. And then they saw her at the end of the show and she said, oh no, I had to stand up because I couldn't breathe anymore, so I had to leave my seat. She was laughing so much she couldn't breathe. We nearly killed a woman. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. Yeah, I suppose. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the nice well, thing about said, doing the free... Different. Yeah, that like was that. different. Or that, that was, was silly. And they kind of, was when silly. people say that, I'm like, yeah. I, they say that's silly and they don't mind that. I kind of go, yay, you're one of us. <laughs> yeah. But that's the lovely thing about doing the free festival because you do the collection at the end and we've got badges, we've got loads of badges if anyone wants a badge. If anyone wants a badge, please come and find us and take a badge. <laughs> two, two badges. Um, All the badges. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, that's the lovely thing is that you get to sort of meet your audience and find out how they heard about you and, and kind of what they thought. And that's quite a nice thing to do. Yeah, that helps. So you didn't need the reviews. No. no. We've got the audience. They're the important ones. Yeah, they're important. Please give us some nice reviews again. Uh, I don't know if we have had them or not. I don't know. I've given up. I've given up reading. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for this interview. Thank Lovely. you very much. So, um, you're going to be here from the 26th at the Laughing Horse at Three Sisters. Till the 26th, yes. Um, at quarter to six? Quarter to six every day. Yeah, yeah, so keep watching Waffle TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.